Hi, and welcome to Anna's Delightful Ideas. Thanks for visiting my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make quinoa chicken stew. Just thought of making it today since it's raining and it's cold. And I just wanted something to keep me warm and indoors. So I decided to make stew. And I wanted to show it with you guys. Well, share it with you guys. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so I have here is four boneless, skinless chicken thigh, and I'm cutting it into bite-sized pieces. And you could use beef, lamb, pork, or chicken breast. Whatever you prefer is better. Doesn't matter. So I got my mushroom here, and I have about 15 cremini. I don't really know how to explain that name, or pronounce that name, sorry. Um, but it's brown mushroom. Um, I don't wash my mushroom. I wipe them down with a paper towel since they're already washed and have a lot of moist in them. So we're going to cut them in half and chop them up like this, like I am. So chop them up, not too small, not too thin, not too thick. Just in between, like I am here. That way you can taste it in your stew. If you don't like mushroom, you can just substitute it out. So next thing you're going to need is a uh, medium white onion. And I got a medium, but I'm gonna, only going to use half. You can use all of it if you want. Or just get a small white onion. Large is going to be way too big, but we're just going to use half on the medium white onion. I'm going to clean the outside out and cut the sides and throw it in the garbage. Cut it in half. And dice it up. You don't have to dice it up the way I do. You can dice it up however you do it, however you're used to doing it. Oh wow, this onion is so, so strong. This is why I like organic. It's the onion, the garlic, and like the food, the vegetables are just amazing. So you just dice it up and you can put the other half, you can use it for something else, or you can put it in your stew if you like a lot of onion. But I think half is fine. I'm gonna put it in the bowl. Then we're going to get this carrot, we're going to cut off the ends, and then we're going to take off the skin. I do it with a knife, I mean whichever you prefer. You could use a um, potato peeler, but I'm just using a knife, it's quick, and same thing I guess. We're going to rinse the carrot. I'm going to get the shredder to shred it. Okay, so I got the shredder, and I'm going to shred the whole medium-sized carrot. And make sure it's washed and cleaned. I'm going to shred that. I'm going to put it in a separate bowl that I have ready for. And that's just from one carrot. That's a lot. So I have my stove on high and I put four cups of water and let that simmer up and then we're gonna put the quinoa. Alright, so once it starts to heat up a little bit, we're gonna put one cup of quinoa and that's four cups of water. Alright, so it's past three minutes. Now the quinoa simmered up. I'm going to put two teaspoons of chicken bouillon. It's called better than bouillon. And I put this bouillon in everything I make. You, they have, uh, I think, beef also. Yeah. So anyways, we're going to put two teaspoons. And when you mix the quinoa in the water, make sure you use a uh, fork. And you mix it with a fork. Mm, smells so good. 
Honestly, when you put the chicken paste, it smells so delicious. The chicken paste has so much flavor. I honestly think it's better than the chicken broth liquid that you buy. But you guys can use whatever you want. Alright. Let's close that lid. Let it simmer. So now I put a pan on medium high and a tablespoon and a half of oil. I use grapeseed oil, avocado oil, you could use any oil that you like and let that heat up so you're gonna know when your oil is hot is whenever you move it around it's like wavy so we're gonna put the half uh, white onion in and we're gonna saute it for about two minutes oh wow this you guys should smell, oh this smells so good the onion is strong. Alright, now that the onion sautéed for like two minutes, I'm going to put in the carrot that we shredded. Mmm. I'm going to mix all that together. And we're going to leave it to sauté for another two minutes and mix it together. Look at all those onions turning orange. They're already introducing each other. <laughs> onions getting to know the carrots. Alright, so this was sauteing for two minutes. Now we're going to add in the mushroom so he could introduce himself to the carrot and onion. Mix that in together. Make sure they're evenly coated. Just like that. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, hey, where are you going? Get back in there. You're too shy to introduce yourself. <laughs> Alright, just mix that in for three minutes. And now I'm going to put pepper. I use a Simply Organic black pepper in a glass bottle and I put about a teaspoon or more, I don't know, <laughs> I don't joke around with my spices, I like my spices. And just mix that in, just let it saute for another like a minute or so. So I use the pink Himalayan salt. You can just put a pinch in there, not more, it's gonna be over salted. Alright, so I took out the vegetables that we sauteed earlier into a bowl that I put on the side. And I left some of the vegetables in there, like you could see. And I put a tablespoon of oil. And we're gonna put in the chicken that we diced up. Just like that. And yeah, make sure your heat is on medium high because we don't want to burn the chicken. We still want it soft and chewy and flavorful. Just mix that in like that. And we're going to put pepper, but not too much pepper. So then I'm going to get the garlic salt and we're gonna sprinkle it on top not too much we don't want to over salt it all right so the chicken was cooking for about five minutes and I'm gonna put in the sauteed vegetables back in there and mix it all together that way the chicken says hello to the sauteed vegetables and gets to know them <laughs> all right just mix it up like that Smells good. Alright, so now that we sauteed all the vegetables with the chicken, I'm going to put a tablespoon of garlic, diced up garlic, and I'm going to put thyme. I'm going to put a teaspoon of thyme. You can use fresh thyme if you like. I'm just using the dry one today. Sprinkle it in, you can eyeball it, you can put how much you want. All 
Oh, let's open it more so we can get it out easier. <laughs> mm, you guys, it smells so good here. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I just wish you guys were here or you could smell it through the video. It, it smells delicious. Alright, so we're going to mix that in together and make sure that the sautéed vegetables and chicken is evenly coated with the garlic. Oh wow, look at that liquid. Mm, all that juice from the chicken. Okay, so now I move the stew onto the side. And I added one bay leaf and two whole black peppers. And make sure you mix it with a fork and leave the heat on medium. You don't want to overcook the quinoa. And I'm going to take out the extra foam on top. I like a clear liquid. You can use it with a spoon and put it into a bowl or a cup. Mm, just like that. There you go. So now we're going to put in the sautéed vegetables and chicken. Alright, so we're going to mix that in and make sure you don't mix it too hard because you don't want to smash the quinoa. Mm, look at that, it smells so good. So I'm going to be using the garbanzo beans. You could, you could use any beans you want. So I'm going to be opening this up and I'm going to rinse it about five times. And we're only going to be using half. I put my heat on medium high. And we're going to put half of the garbanzo beans in there. Not all of them. And I added three more cups of water. And just mix that all in. If you want less liquid, you don't have to add water. But... I like more liquid, so I added more water. And when you add more water, make sure your heat is on higher. Beans are cooked after three minutes. You don't want to overcook them. You still want them a little soft, hard. And I'm going to add a little kick in there, the red cracked pepper. If you don't want to, you don't have to add it. All right, last but not least, I'm going to cut up the dill. And I turn off the stew and I covered it with the lid if you don't like dill you don't have to put it in there okay so our stew cooled off for about 10-15 minutes and I added in the dill this is optional but I put a teaspoon of sour cream and I sprinkled on some dill. And of course, I have to put my cayenne. I love spicy things. So, of course, I'm going to sprinkle on some cayenne. And that's it. That's all we needed for the stew. And I hope you guys liked this video. Um, if you guys want me to show you guys how to make a vegetarian stew, please comment below, let me know. And if you guys tried it out, let me know what you guys put in there. And I guess that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. And please thumbs up and subscribe. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.